still has that new DVD smell. Because I bought this about nine months ago in January when it came out. I, I have money and I bought it. <clears throat> so, Halloween 2018. You know, I think this says it right here. Hands down, the best Halloween sequel ever. This movie is fucking fantastic. Oh my god, I love this movie, bro. Halloween 2018 is like one of the best sequels ever made. Hands down, the best sequel. Like, wow. I, I was so hyped for this movie on my other channel, Joshua Films. I did a trailer reaction. I was so hyped. I was so hyped. I just got start. I just started getting into Halloween and. Fuck when they announced this. I was like, hell yeah. And Laurie Short's kicking ass. I'm like, let's do this. Another Halloween sequel. And I get to see it in theaters with my dad. And ho. Oh, this was good. This was a really good sequel. Really good sequel. Oh my God. I saw the critics review this movie. And it got 90. 90%. And I was like, no. 90% H2O. I just realized that. 90%. They gave this movie 90%. I was like, what? I gotta see it. I saw it and I loved it. First off, the soundtrack once again is fucking fantastic. The Damn it, John Carpenter! <laughs> You're such an amazing, like... So amazing, bro! I, 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 fucking camera! I love the soundtrack for this movie, bro. I want to buy the album. I want to buy the deluxe album. I want to buy both! But I don't have enough money. Fuck! The, the, the soundtrack for this movie is amazing. There's, there's hands down, best... best, best Soundtrack. It's comparison to the the, the the original. So, anyways, Lori Strode's back. This time, she's not Michael Myers' brother. Thank God. Even though I'm I'm a fan of that storyline, I don't really like it. Like, I I have mixed feelings about it. Like, 50 50 percent on it. Like, I like it with Lori Strode being Michael Myers' brother. It's kind of interesting, but I don't because it ruins Michael Myers' like fatigue or style. He just kills people because that gives him pleasure. But and then in the sequel, they're like, "Oh, he's Mike. He's Laurie Strode's Michael Myers' brother. He has to kill her. It's like his duty." So like, it gives a reason. <clears throat> it, it gives like a reason, and I don't like that. I don't like that, but I do because Halloween two and Halloween H two O were really good sequels. Halloween three I liked. I, mean, I already made a review for that. Halloween. Uh, Halloween H2O was good. I'll review that maybe next year at some point. But yeah, those were really good sequels. As well as Halloween 4. That was really good. 5 and 6, you know. Resurrection, I like. But it's I just like it because it's funny. Rob Zombie. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that. But yeah. Once again, like I said, Michael Myers, he's been in the asylum for 40 years. And this guy, this new guy, Dr. Sartain, who takes over... Uh, Loomis, he basically wants Michael Myers to get out. He wants Michael Myers to just get out and kill. He wants to actually see Michael Myers speak because he hasn't spoken for 40 years. It's like he explains that he can, but he just chooses not to. And that, I heard that in the movie theater and I was like, oh, that's, that's no, no. And these stupid podcasters are like, Michael Myers, say something. <laughs> Like, say something. An entire card. Where do I begin? Soundtrack, amazing. Laurie Strode, amazing. The, the, the Karen actor, for the actress for Karen and Allison, they're good. Dr. Sartain, they're all good. All the actors in this movie are good. Even the little black kid who refuses to be the black kid stereotype. He's amazing. All the decisions that they make in this movie are, are phenomenon. They're phenomenal. Not phenomenal. What the fuck? The kills. Oh, joy! The kills, they're bloody. They're fucking... God! 
White guy gets his face turned into a fucking jackal. That's awesome. That's dope. It's fucking dope. Shit. Shit, I actually... Sorry. Got a little carried away. This movie's great. I like it. The only flaw... Maybe? Maybe too little fl Two little flaws. And I would say that one flaw is that I don't really like Dr. Sartain's reason to get Michael Myers out. I'm not going to spoil most of it, but Dr. Sartain wants Michael Myers to escape. And the reason and the explanation is kind of stupid. And it doesn't go anywhere. Second, second thing I don't like about this movie. It's very, um, it's a very minor nitpick, and it's not really a nitpick. I didn't want anyone to die in this movie, and that's the thing I love about this movie. I didn't really want anyone to die. Not even Doctor Sartain, who later we find out he's kind of a dick. I didn't want anyone to die because I like them. The podcasters, they're kind of pointless. You can throw them out of the movie, but. I like the fact how interested they were in the Michael Myers, kind of like us, the audience. We are interested in Michael Myers. So I guess that's somewhat relatable. And everything feels realistic in this film. That's why I like the sequel. It feels realistic, kind of like the first one, that this could happen. Even though the story for us is kind of like, eh, gotta, gotta jump a little bit of like, we, Wiley! I'm a good dog owner. <laughs> sorry, really. Uh, but yeah. So, yeah. Sorry about that, guys. So, yeah. I didn't really want the characters to die because I liked most of the characters. Vicky, who is a typical teenager that has sex with her boyfriend. I liked her because she has a good relationship with the black kid, Julian. Who, by the way, Julian is freaking hilarious. That kid's like, I wouldn't be up cutting my nasty ass toenails and like he's like send Dave up first when he hears the noise in the room and he's like I'm not going up there and Vicky I like you you're my babysitter I want your boyfriend to go up first because who gives a shit and we're like like yeah send Dave up first <laughs> like this kid gets it I, I love most of the characters in this film one character I don't like and that is one off screen kill body I guess that really doesn't make sense because we don't really know his character, but I don't know what else to say. I can't complain about this movie. I don't, I can't complain. I like it. Um, I know some people don't like this movie and yeah, I can see why. Here's the reason why though, is it's because it's kind of just a rehash of Halloween 4. Now, the story's different. Laurie Strode's back this time, but it's kind of just the same thing. Laurie Strode and Michael meet up with each other. They get into an epic showdown that only happens toward the end. A Loomis guy is trying to kill Michael Myers, or in this case, try to help him, talk with him. But it's like, I can understand that. But you know what? I like the sequel. I love this movie. Fuck, I, I'd go as far as say it's it's one of the best horror movies of all time next to Halloween I I love these two movies so honestly I would have to give this movie an A plus a 10 out of 10 and a 5 out of 5 I really like this movie I dug it I dug the movie and fuck fuck they're making a sequel they're making two sequels Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends which by the way you know they're not going to end it which, by the way, they explained that it, it's not going to technically end. It's going to end the Laurie Strode saga. Which I'm like, I'm all for that. Fuck yeah. I love Allison and Karen. I love those those girls. And I really hope to see them in more sequels even with Laurie Strode gone. I hope they continue to make more sequels after Halloween ends. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this Halloween month. I know I did. I got to see some really good horror films. Especially Halloween-themed horror movies. And, you know, fuck. I hope hope you buy the Blu-ray collection on this.
Go see it.